it says it's broadcasting. Gotta check and make sure. Audio is on. I need my microphone. All right, audio should be on. Just gotta check and make sure everything is running live. It says it's live on my desktop. All right, sweet. All right. All right, so I was, um, I know I promised the next thing that I was going to do was going to be the Shadow of the Colossus uh, Avis review, or a Avis theory, um, but I, <laughs> Summer Games Fest came out, and I guess during Summer Games Fest, or some sometime during that, uh, the Lies of P demo dropped out of absolutely nowhere, as well as a release date, September 19th of this year. Um, we knew it was gonna come out this year, but, uh, September 19th, wow, crazy, I can't fucking wait, I cannot wait. Anyway, um, so the demo came out, and I don't know how long I want to be talking about the demo, but I will definitely go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so, um, first of all, I gotta say a couple of things, I gotta start off with, uh, context, okay, um, context number one i'm playing this on a playstation 5 so i'm not doing it on, on i don't know if it's on pc or anything so i'm on a playstation 5 um so i was getting consistent 60 frames per second beautiful absolutely jaw-dropping graphics like absolutely gorgeous visuals um and the second bit of context i'm gonna give um, off the top of my head that I, I, I'm probably, you know, I usually just trickle context down the further I go into the video. Um, oh, and by the way, this is not going to be spoiler free at all. I'm going to be talking about just about fucking everything. I don't know how long it's going to be. Probably not nearly as long as like my other reviews like Pro Jedi and Tatka. Um, so yeah, uh, second piece of context. I did the strength build choice at the beginning. Um, and I'm considering uh going through the demo again with something else just to try to see which i like best but uh since it has been established to be a souls like souls born like or born like i guess because <laughs> it's i don't know it's not uh it, it fits the souls like genre but it's definitely inspired by bloodborne but even in dark souls bloodborne elden ring um everything except sekiro obviously um <laughs> Uh, I've done strength build. That is my go-to. So I chose strength build here. Okay. So with that out the way, first of all, I am so deeply in love with what this game has shown so far. With what has been presented. Just everything. I am thoroughly, like, I am on the edge of my seat waiting for September 19th. I don't think I've been excited for a game like this since Elden Ring. Like, off tops, this demo alone, oh man, like, might be th probably the hypest thing for me as far as gaming this year. Now, of course, I, a lot of people are pr probably not going to really d agree with that. People are going to be like, Tatka should be that spot. No, I loved Tatka. Don't get that twisted. I really, I really did enjoy Tatka. However, however, I have a lot to praise as far as just this demo goes um like i said performance absolutely incredible graphics are gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i mean it's like i'm walking through a painting right now um sound design everything on a technical level flawless and uh if that's how it's going to work on release i am excited um yeah absolutely 100 percent excited for that um, I enjoyed the gameplay from the specific class that I was in, and I want, I'll, I'm going to get into, like, some in-depth things about my thoughts on, like, every little nitty-gritty about the gameplay. There is one, I don't know if it's a criticism, something I'm a little, um, yeah, I don't know about that. Something like, like, ah, and I'm, I'm about to get into that. Okay, first and foremost... Uh, let's, let's talk about some of the fundamentals of the combat. Um, it plays essentially the same as um, Bloodborne, control-wise. Um, R1 for, you know, some, some regular light attack. Hold R2 for a nice attack. And also, they did copy this mechanic 
from Bloodborne, the mechanic of <laughs> using a fully charged R2 attack on the backside of an opponent, and he opens them to a critical hit, which, um, I forgot what it is, I think it's called Fatal Attack in this, in this game, or something of the such, like, um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's irrelevant. Anywho, so that is a mechanic that I like from Bloodborne that they brought in here. I'm glad they did that. Also, they're also copied from Bloodborne. Um, and then, I don't know. Copied sounds more der like a little too derogatory, in my opinion, because it's more... I, I want to give it the highest compliment and say, with all due respect, it just inspired by right so also inspired by bloodborne is a limited rally mechanic if you know what the rally mechanic is for those who have played bloodborne it's simply you take damage and you have a small window to recover a little bit of that damage that you taken by attacking an enemy it, it could be the enemy that attacked you it could be nearby enemies just attack an enemy during this small window now the difference is in bloodborne it was like rule free it was just you get damaged damage someone back get health back the exception in this game lies of p is that you have to block the attack like like so right you have to be pressing this and get hit that way and when you do that you then get the opportunity to uh because it does chip damage right you then get the opportunity for the rally mechanic now that's a good thing especially because I don't know about any other class, right? So I'm going to say, as far as the strength class goes, I found, like, yes, there, you can roll, like, in Dark Souls, Bloodborne, and all that. Um, and when you lock onto enemies, it is dashes, just like Bloodborne. So very, very Bloodborne-inspired. Um, however, whereas in Bloodborne, it was either that or pull off a parry, it's more like... Bloodborne meets Sekiro in the sense that you have to pull off perfect parries. Now, the perfect parries, I don't know if that's something specifically limited to the strength class that I chose, because it seems like dodging was just so ineffective. It seems like it really wants you to parry. It, it wants you to learn how to perfect parry, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with, um, it takes <laughs> it is a lot less forgiving than the like the parry timing window thingy from Sekiro like you know when you go ding 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 yeah it's a lot less forgiving now to counter this remember in Sekiro when you had the immortal guy near the um the like the hub world type of thing where the sculptor is like you could practice some of the basics on him they have this guy right here uh, he's right here and right before Parade Master, and he serves as a perfect parry, um, training grounds type of shit. You know what I mean? So, um, I like that. I like stuff. They've got so much stuff like this, um, and so that is, that is what I've noticed, personally, from playing as the strength class. Um, the damage that the strength class does, I don't know what it, what it's like compared to everything else. There's, it looks like like as compared to something FromSoft would make because you know FromSoft they have like like eight different starting classes that you can choose from this one had three so you had like straight up dexterity you had a balance one i think it was called path of the cricket or some shit i noticed that off the bat um and then there was this one i don't even know what this one was it was just path of strength of some like and that's what i chose right so with that um there is this is such a generous fucking demo like it is so generous like i am honored <laughs> that they that they let us have this much in a demo it has three bosses three you have three whole bosses in here you've got a healthy amount of cutscenes. um you, there's even i don't know how many there are but i there's like side quest that you can do and it uh, does dabble in the mechanic that they have teased that there will definitely be a lot more use usage of when the full game releases. The lying system, which is interesting. It seems the more you lie, you become more human. 
and that might, I don't know, but it might affect how you end the game. Mm, I don't know. Um, I'm excited to see how that turns out. There's a lot of um, upgrading stuff that you can do. Obviously, we've got a blacksmith over here. So we've got like Andre over here, right? For all intents and purposes. Or sculptor, depending on, <laughs> you know, what FromSoft game you started with. Here's our fire keeper. You have to come to her to level up. Um, I did a fair bit of leveling up. Her name is Sophia. She's such a sweetheart. Um, I forgot how much I'm leveled. Yeah, I did a little bit of vitality. Put some into motivity, technique, um, a little bit of capacity. Shit like that. Um, so, yeah. I am so very excited for the full release of this game. Um, because from what they have just teased here as far as, like, bosses. And by the way, the bosses, holy shit. Okay, so, um, not do Here's something, um... In regards to, okay, let me take it back for a second. In regards to the perfect parry thing that I was just talking about a second ago, right? So, it's not like in Sekiro, you learn to perf, you, you do like the, the parry timing shit on one enemy, and then you, you can pretty much tell what the next person's gonna do, unless somebody's got like a weird combo that they pull out of their ass. No. See, in Lies of P, the thing is, you're not really fighting humans you're fighting puppets okay so they don't move very fluid and human like they have choppy sporadic mechanical glitchy movements like uh you know like how you would imagine um say the animatronics in the five nights at freddy's right like that's a reference that i hope my uh <laughs> i hope my wife gets i i sucked at five nights at freddy's but that's for you sweetheart that's for you pumpkin i love you <laughs> anywho like, I I imagine it's something like that, okay? It's choppy. So, in order to perfect parry basic enemies, essentially, you will have to... Uh, for me, sp for me, and I w I'd wager for a lot of other people, you're just going to have to memorize a lot of attack patterns of a lot of different enemies. And there's... It looks like there's going to be a very healthy variety of enemies. Now, boss fights, holy shit... They are creative, challenging, majestic crafts of fucking art, dude. So the first one, the fucking, what's his name? Circus King? The Circus King? Or, no, Parade Master. Okay, Parade Master w is the first boss. He's great. The second one was like Mad Donkey. That's like a duel type of thing. That's like your more human enemy. Um, He's a lot more fluid, a lot easier to perfect parry. And then the the big daddy of the demo, the scrapped watchman. Oh man, that dude is spooky as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> so I think all things considered, and I don't want to talk too much because, like, um, <laughs> obviously, like, I want to. I'm I'm gonna drop a a full lengthy, girthy, big dick review when the entire game comes out. I just simply wanted to <laughs> drop this just just to gush about it. Because honestly, I love, like, I don't know who these fucking people are. Like, fucking Neowitz, Studio 8, whatever the fuck. Hats off to you guys. A ha absolutely round of a fucking applause to you guys for this generous, beautiful demo that you've provided for us. I I love you guys for this. This is incredible. Your art direction is some of the best I've seen in years. I love the inspiration that you've taken from Bloodborne. Um, and I applaud you in your efforts. And I, and I eagerly, eagerly await for the full reveal of Lies of P. So, I don't know how long uh, this video is. I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, it's been about 15 minutes. Yeah, so that's about it from me for now. Um... I hope, uh, yeah, I hope to be able to talk about so much more, maybe even double, hell, even triple the length of this video by the time the full game comes out, because I think this might be my favorite game of the year, and that's, that's hard to say, because Pro Jedi, I loved Pro Jedi a whole lot, I loved Tatka a whole lot, but this game... I am such a huge fan already. Like, 
immensely invigorated and infatuated with it already. <laughs> I know, and some of y'all watching this, you might be thinking, yeah, the dick riding is crazy. You know, I, I sound like I just want to fucking beat the fucking cock of the developers or some shit. Nah, man. Like, I'm just excited. I'm just a guy that's passionate about this. Um, I've been following the development of this closely ever since I heard about it. Because this is the closest thing we're going to get to a Bloodborne 2, I feel like. You know, ever since FromSoft learned how to print literal fucking money with Elden Ring, um, I just don't think there's a future for their PlayStation exclusive titles anymore. So, yeah. Like, Demon Souls remake was probably the last thing. <laughs> that was probably it. That wasn't even hardly anything on FromSoft part. That was Blue Point. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, looks like the future of FromSoft is not Bloodborne 2, and if it is, if they do a Bloodborne 2, it's probably not going to be PlayStation exclusive. <laughs> this, uh, Lies of P is also not PlayStation exclusive, but runs great on APS5, like I said. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to cut the video there. Lies of P demo, absolutely incredible. Everybody try it, please. I beg of you, this is incredible. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Uh, for those of you still watching, uh, please uh, expect the Shadow of the Colossus Eva's Theory to drop uh, soon. Okay, soon. It, the script writing is still very primitive, but it'll come out soon. And uh, I hope you guys are excited for it because I've got some interesting stuff that I'd like to share with you guys. Anyways, um, that'll do it. Adios, amigos.